What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about something that I kind of experience at my nine to five job. So let's get right into it. All right, so what did I experience at my nine to five job? So I was tasked to upgrade a couple of servers that were running server, uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. And the game plan was to upgrade them to server 2019. Now I did an in-place upgrade. I know, I know, not the way to go. Best practice is to create a new machine, virtual machine, because that's what I was, you know, touching. You know, 2012 R2 were virtual machines. Create a new virtual machine with server 2019 and then upgrade the services over to the new virtual machine. Now, the reason that I did not do that because one, these 2012 R2 had legacy applications. And when I did my research, those applications did work with 2019, but we didn't have the license. It was just really crazy. So the best approach for us was to do in-place upgrade. So I started the process. Once the in-place upgrade was done, I noticed that within the start menu, a lot of the icons were white. I was like, what is going on? Now all the services on the server was working with no problem. The applications were working with no problem, but for some reason within the start button, there were white icons. Now, this is how I fixed it. So within server 2012 R2, the start menu actually looks like this. It's crazy looking thing, right? When you upgrade to either 2016 and 2019, that server actually gives you the full function start menu. The one that we've seen all the time, you know, you click on start, a little sidebar menu comes on the left hand side and then you're able to pick your application. On 2012 R2, you get this crazy looking tablet form start menu. When you're doing an upgrade, there's a particular registry key, an icon handler that's supposed to upgrade during the in-place, but it doesn't. It gets stuck on the registry key for this start menu. So this is how I got it to work. So Again, I was running Windows Server 2019 standard version build 1809. When I did some research, it looks like build 1809 is a problem. So if you don't know what I'm talking about with the white icons, if you click on the start button, you're gonna see everything as white icons. This is what I'm talking about, white icons. Why is this happening? But when you click on one of these programs, it will launch. So it's more of a cosmetic thing and it was bothering me because I wanted the icons. Everything was working when you clicked on the application, but for some reason the icons weren't working. Now, like I said before, there is a registry that does not get upgraded during the in place. Now this registry is within the icon handler and this is the path and the default reg is this guy, 86 blah, 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 blah. Now this registry key is a sign for the Windows Server 2012 R2 start menu. If you go inside a server that already has server 2019, the registry key, doesn't matter, you could check three machines of 2019, they're all going to have the same value, right? But this guy doesn't have that value. So what I did was I selected, double clicked, and I changed the value to this. For the 2019, this is the value that I saw consistent on all the servers. So I changed it to this and I clicked OK. Bam. Now, next thing that I did was I created a batch file and I dropped it inside my desktop. And if you open up this batch file within Notepad, you're going to see the following. What it's going to do is going to kill the Explorer. It's going to go to the user's profile. It's going to delete the icon cache database, the thumbnail cache database. It's gonna to go to the app data local and also delete the icon cache database and it's going to start Explorer. I ran this particular batch file. It did everything that it needed to do and then restart the machine. Once you restart the machine, the next thing that you need to do, and this is the crazy part, there's another database that kind of works with the tiles, all right? You got the start menu and right next to the start menu, you got your tiles. That has its own database and it's located in this path. So I basically did a CD change directory to go inside and I'm going to run this command to delete the cache database for all the tiles. Now, before you hit enter, 
you need to kill a particular service within the task manager. So launch a task manager and you're going to locate the Windows Shell Experience host. Now, before you kill it and you go and delete it, what's gonna happen is as soon as you kill it, it's gonna automatically launch itself quickly. So you gotta do it like really fast. When you right click on it and you end the task, you gotta jump inside your command prompt and hit enter. So make sure that you have that delete tile cache dot bin file, that command ready. So when you kill the task of the Windows shell experience host and you kill it, jump inside command prompt, hit enter quickly. I did it a couple of times because again, like I said, that particular service launches super fast and you have to do it like quick. So once you do it, and you open up your start menu, you're going to see that all the icons are back into its original state. It's no white icons and that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's really crazy. You would think that the in place upgrade will kind of change that registry key to the new one, but it doesn't. And this is how I got it fixed. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.